Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So, Jim Beglin, what is your interpretation of the way they appear to be lining up? Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape and training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. We have already started here. Grenier. Morel. From Vila. Aholu plays it forward. Morel. Stad Rene getting a lot of touches, and they're not making much progress. Grenier gets it back. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, It'll have been forgotten. Gets up to hit it! That's a half-decent try. Mian did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Hoists it forward. Gets away from his opponents. Can he find a finish now? Gonna throw in. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Gets it upfield. Nyang. Grenier. What an adventurous run from a defender. Looking for a decent ball in. And here's Grenier. Produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific ground of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. That Rene take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And a 
Matt Niang. And Vila battles to win it back. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football that might have still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. And more than a decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Stad René come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And the question, that's a foul. He's there to receive it. And the shot! And that has been clubbed away. Clearance is short. Lovely bit of skill. A chance to play it in. Oh, the ball's come loose. Good challenge. He just stood firm. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Great stop! Shoots! Oh, denied brilliantly! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Played it short. Yang. And it's played forward. Morel. are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Ruffier gets it away. Stade René just have to run down the clock. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. And it's Grenier. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, but that was enough. And after all